Okay, so in this video I'm going to find the equation of two tangents, these two tangents here. These two tangents are parallel, and they're tangents to this circle here with this center here. This blue line here is a line that's perpendicular to both these tangents. So this is, it's perpendicular here, perpendicular, perpendicular here. Okay, so the information we would be given here is the equation of the circle. So the equation of our circle is x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 4y plus 7 equal to 0. The equation of our blue line is 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0. Okay, so the idea here is to find the equation of our two tangents here, the two red lines. So let's start by just finding the center, the center of our circle and the radius of our circle. So the center of our circle is just going to be uh, 4 minus 2. It's just half the coefficient of our x, change the sign, half the coefficient of the y, change the sign. The, the radius of our circle is going to be uh, minus g squared, so that's going to be minus 4 squared, plus minus our f squared, so that's going to be 2 squared, and then minus our c, which is this value here. So it's going to be minus this value here, so it's going to be minus 7. So our radius then is going to be square, square root of minus 4, which is 16, plus uh, 4 minus 7. Uh, 16 and 4, 20, 20 minus 7, 13. So the, our radius is going to be the square root of 13. So the distance, in other words, the distance from here to here, our point of contact here, is going to be the square root of 13. And similarly on the other side, our distance here is going to be the square root of 13 from our center point. So in other words, the distance from our center to our tangents is going to be the square root of 13. So what we can do now is just look at the equation of our two red lines, our two tangents. So the equation, the equation of our tangents is going to look like this. It's going to look like, um, so it's going to look like ax plus by plus c equal to zero. Now, we don't have any points on our two tangents. We don't have the slope of our two tangents. However, we do have the slope of our blue line here, which happens to be perpendicular to our two red lines, our two tangents. So the slope, the slope here of our blue line is going to be just simply minus a over b, which is minus 2 over 3. That means then that the slope of the tangents, the slope of our tangents um, is going to be 3 over 2. Just turn it upside down, change the sign. So we know that this equation, this equation here, which is the equation of our tangents, will look like this. Um, it will be 3 instead of our a, x minus 2y plus c equal to 0. So our the equation of our tangents should look like this here because the slope of this line here is just going to be minus a over b which is minus 3 over minus 2 which is 3 over 2. So we've just got to work out what c is. So this is the equation of our two tangents. So let's see if we can work out two values for c. All we need to do is do that and then put our c values in here to give us our two equations. So let's, let's work through that then. Well, we know that the distance from any point to a line is going to be uh, equal to the modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c all over the square root of a squared plus b squared. So in our case, we have our d is the square root, square root of 13. So that's the distance from our center 
the center of our circle to our tangents and that's going to be then using this formula here or this equation here I should say is going to be three times the um, x coordinate of our point and the x coordinate remember the center of our circle the center of our circle is 4 minus 2 so we're going to put in 4 here and then it's going to be actually it's going to be a minus 2 and that's going to be times the y coordinate of our center here which is minus 2 so we're going to put minus 2 in here plus c and then we're going to divide that by the square root of a squared plus b squared. Well, our a is 3, so we're going to square that. Our b is minus 2, so we're going to square that. And this is what we've got to solve now for c. So let's work down through this. We should end up with two values for c. So let's see, on this side we've square root of 13. Over here we've got the modulus of 3 times 4, which is 12. We've got minus 2 times minus 2, which is plus 4 plus c, and then on the bottom here we've got the square root of 3, 3's are 9, 2, 2's are 4, so that gives us 13. Okay, so let's just multiply across by root 13. So I'm going to multiply, bring this up here if you like, and multiply. So root 13 times root 13 is just 13. And this side we end up with the modulus of 16 plus c. So that just means then that 16 plus c is equal to 13, or 16 plus c is equal to minus 13. So that just gives us c is equal to minus 3 or c is equal to minus 29. So we have our two values for c. Now remember our original, this is our original equation of our two tangents. So we've just got to put our two c's in here. So it's 3x minus 2y, 3x minus 2y. So we, we started off with 3x minus 2y plus c is equal to 0. This was the equation of our two tangents. So that means then that the equations of our tangents are, so it's going to be 3x minus 2y minus 3 equal to 0, and it's going to be 3x minus 2y uh, minus 29 equal to 0. And that's it really. They're the equations of our two tangents to our circle.